Alright guys, Berkey here, and today I'm doing another tutorial video, not based around TF2 rather, but more a generalized game tutorial that may come in handy if you have a PlayStation controller or a friend that may have one, or even the console that obviously comes with a controller, so as you can see the title of the video, probably somewhere up here, I think that's where down here, I don't know, it doesn't matter, uh, the title of the video is to get a PlayStation 3 controller working in most your games. And it works for most. I've got it to work for Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, Call of Duty World at War, uh, Castle Crashers, any game that supports the original Xbox 360 controller. And yes, I said the Xbox 360 controller, because that's what the emulator for this program here, the D3 tool, is based off of. So, um, to begin with, that is the main program you're going to need for this to work. How you get it is obviously you go to your browser of choice, go to... Motion Joy, this this one that should be just go D D S three tool in your Google and then go here. And from this point, there are like a lot of things. Don't click that; that'll kill your computer pretty much. Um, there's there's a the newest version for me. They spelled download wrong, you know, good sign. And <laughs> just click there, and it should download the setup, and then you do everything else, and then this should come on your your desktop hopefully if, unless that ends up in like the trash bin then you know you have a problem but this is what should happen overall this is what you should get and from this point on what you want to do is obviously open up the the tool and it kind of acts as a browser as there is sometimes advertisements that appear sometimes up in this area and down here and if it would actually load it'd be uh might be pretty stellar okay all right here we go finally it started to work um so yeah, there's an advertisement down there. Don't worry about that. But I think that's actually I know what game that is. It's Dragon's Crown. Yep, knew it. <laughs> uh, whatever. And there are there should be six options here. Um, these basically are the type of emulations. There's a PlayStation One emulator, which is if you want to use an emulator with PlayStation One, you, you click that. But usually you just want to use this, so it works with all Microsoft products. The Xbox 360 controller em emulator. And if you do select that, of course, if you have your controller plugged in, which actually one sec, let me just get my camera set up so I can show you. Then from that point on, if you have it on, you can get your controller right here, plug it into your USB of choice, which mine is right here. And it should work overall. Certain games that allow it just, you know, regularly, but some games you have to use this program obviously now let's actually check if this thing works um go to, you, you go to whatever that is you go to game control panel advanced actually no is it properties yeah here we go and as you can see i have my controller right here oh. okay so that was work as you can see the buttons lighting up as i press them Rotation sticks are being pretty weird. Mm. That actually, that's a good point. That can bring us into our next topic. All right, so to change the controls, you know, perfect transition there. Uh, you go to the right of the Xbox 360 controller emulator option, and you go to options, and you want to click new, which that'll bring up a brand new one of these things, which the one I use is dat config unname. I don't know why, but it works for me. Uh, as you can see with the X input, it makes the it makes those buttons up here, the analog buttons, act as those buttons, and the trigger buttons act as the back buttons. So it's really messed up. Unless you want to use a really screwed up version of the PS3 controller, then you know you can do that. But other than that, what you want to do, as you can see, once I switch to the new config. It goes from uh, right trigger or left bumper and right bumper to left trigger and right trigger, as well as for which one is it? Uh, oh, L2 and R2. If you go to this one, it is left trigger, right trigger, and then if you convert it back, it'll be LB and RB, which is pretty cool. It basically it changes it so that the analogs are correct and the trigger is correct and everything is just handy duty notebook from Blue's Clues 
I don't know, even know what it's called, but whatever. Um, and I think, well, also there's like auto buttons that auto click, and then there's turbo, so you can make it go really fast. Like if you want to make your jump button, like uh, this, the jump button to go really fast, then that's basically what you do. You just click those options, save it, and uh, as you can see, save. Go back to profiles. And to now to equip it, you gotta go to the, this, click that button right there in the main menu, and then my new config, and then you're pretty much done. You can also check, test the vibration. You'll probably be able to hear this, hopefully. I don't know if you could hear that, I hope you do. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll be showing some gameplay now of, I don't know, I'll pick a game, maybe World at War, because I know that game works. Um, something else maybe, Pff, I don't know. Whatever, whatever I can find. Let's just put it that way. So, thanks for watching my tutorial. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Let's just let's go into the gameplay and hope that my uh, my information was helpful to you and it actually works for me. So let's you know let's give it a try.